entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. for this town since my election as mayor. in this town elected a sheriff. Where is he? Well, Uncle Luke had to escort a prisoner to the state pen, but his deputy can act for him. Something go wrong around here, Mayor? Nothing's wrong around here. At last, something's right around here. Can you make a speech in behalf of Sheriff Luke? Uh. Lockton well, makes an awful good deputy, but I don't think he's much good at making speeches. Oh, he'll have to make a speech today. This is going to be a landmark in the history of Diablo. It's here! It's here, Eddie! Gosh, if it's here already, it's two hours ahead of schedule. For well, the city of Diablo has been caught with its uh, caught with its official welcomes down. <laughs> Jack, I haven't seen you so happy since the circus came to town. It's better than a circus. Look at it, Eddie. <laughs> Fellow citizens and voters, today we welcome our first steam fire engine. Today... Isn't it wonderful, Annie? Isn't it wonderful? It sure is. It surely is. It better be wonderful. Cost the taxpayers plenty of money. The new suit for the mayor, 55 cents to get my silk hat clean for the occasion. No charge for the flower. My wife grew up in the backyard. <laughs> That's ten bucks you owe me. You bet he'd forget to lock the front door. Well, I'll bet you another ten bucks he didn't forget to lock the back door either. Let's get going. We got a lot of work to do. something. And just took my horse, what can I do? At least you can make a speech and welcome the new fire engine. What's this for? I'll wipe the egg off your face.
Are you all right, Lucy? Well, yes. Thanks to this young lady. Oh, my name is Duke Rodell. Lucille and I want to thank you for your timely help. I'm Annie Oakley, and this is my little brother, Tag. We're sure glad your wife wasn't hurt, Mr. Rodell. Oh, she's not my wife. She isn't? I'm his sister. Oh, I see. Are you strangers in town? Well, since Saturday, we rented a Crowley house over at Diablo Pond. Well, it's not really a house. I, I guess you might call it a shack. But I'm, I'm trying very hard to make it into a home for my brother. Uh, would you care to have supper with us tonight, Miss Oakley? Oh, thank you, but y'all don't owe me supper. It's not to repay a debt. We'd be delighted, wouldn't we, Duke? Well, yes, we'd be delighted. But perhaps Miss Oakley wouldn't care to have supper with a man like, uh, well, a man in my profession. You see, Miss Oakley, I work at the casino. I'm a faro dealer. Well, we don't like gambling, do we, Tag? Hey, you see what I mean? Oh, but there's no law against pharaoh dealers in Diablo, unless they're crooked dealers. And there's no law against my accepting your very nice invitation, Miss Rodell. Five. Eight o'clock, then? Sure. Not you, Tag. School tomorrow. I have to eat, don't I? Sure. At six o'clock, just like any other school night. Will you have to leave the boy alone? No, not at all. He can have supper with the deputy sheriff. See you at eight, Mr. Rodell. we welcome the first fire engine ever seen on the streets of Diablo. And I tip my hat to Mr. Boiler O'Doul and his iron smoke wagon. And I'll be after tipping me hat right back to you, sir, for the wonderful honor you're paying me. Hooray! As I have said in the beginning, and as I repeat in conclusion, this is the most important progressive day since I was elected mayor. If you would like to ask any question about my wonderful iron horse, just come right along and be glad to answer it. Let's come right over to the hotel. Sorry I'm late, Lossie. Hope I didn't miss your speech. The mayor didn't give me a chance. <laughs> Neither did the fellow that stole my horse. How about that new fire engine? When she blows, she's gonna rock the whole town. Confidential, sir. I'd gladly trade this silk hat of mine for that fireman's hat and a chance to ride that engine. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. It is indeed a great pleasure to have a man such as you who admires me fine horses and me wonderful iron smoke wagon. We better get flat if we don't want to be picking pieces of this ball out of our teeth. Did you cut that fuse kind of long? Yeah, about as long as one of Mayor Pearlson's speeches. We had a date tonight, Annie. I was kind of counting on supper at Joe's Diner. You can still have supper at Joe's Diner tonight, Lofty. You and Tad. Oh, cozy supper for two with Camelot. Me and your kid brother. I'll have supper with you tomorrow night, Lofty. Any place you say. All right. But I still don't like it. Don't like what? This fellow would dealt a stranger in town. Shouldn't be having supper with strangers. Besides, he's a bachelor. You wouldn't want me to be having supper with a married man, would you, Lofty? Besides that, he's a faro dealer. Well, I won't let him teach me to gamble. I promise. I just don't trust that handsome fellow. I don't trust his sister either. How do you know she's really his sister? Love to you, the most mistrusting man I ever met. Well, why wouldn't I mistrust him? First he steals my horse, and now he's stealing my gal. Steals what gal? Uh, I meant, I kind of, oh, well, there was to be a date tonight at Joe's Diner, and I kind of... Lofty, would you like to make a speech? I think you'd better call on somebody else, Mayor. Right now, the deputy sheriff is a little bit confused. Came from the bank. Hit for the alley. Come tie my horse.
Miss Oakley. Hello, Mr. Rodell. We're looking for a couple of men that are riding paint horses. Did they go on this road? Yes, they rode by a few minutes ago. Let's get after him, Manning. You going ahead and I'll catch up with you. I don't think Mr. Rodell would mind if we were on our way. Would you be able to identify these men? They wore masks. Let's get after him, Annie. Would you folks mind taking care of my little brother for me? If he's turned loose around these parts, he's liable to get himself in trouble. Not at all. We'll take him home with us. Oh, Annie. Tag. Now you go on home with these folks and I'll pick you up on the way back. Thanks, Mr. Bell. <laughs> What's the beef? A couple of men just robbed the bank of Diablo. And they rode paint horses. Those horses. If you want to catch them, you better start riding. They got faster horses now. What horses? Ours. Two black mares. Me and Fowler was riding toward town, and they held us up and took our guns and our horses. They left these. So what are you doing with these two paint horses if they're not yours? You expect us to walk into town? Yeah, Johnson turned his ankle. Did you get a look at these men? No, they rode at us with masks on. Rode out the same way, with our mares. You say they held up a bank. Did one of these men have a sack over his saddle? Uh, you mean a gunny sack? These. What's the matter, Annie? Something in that ditch he doesn't like. See what it is, will you, Lofty? Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Atta boy, easy target. The same jacket and hat the two men wore when they robbed the bank. The gun's inside. You say they rode at your mask and rode out the same way? How come you didn't see them dipsy? My next shot won't be dust. Get over there. Lofty, gold coins fell out of his boot. Pull it off. Whose boot? The one with the lamp. It's his right one. Still got the wrapper on it. Bank of Diablo. Spit isn't good enough for you, huh? All four of us stick our necks out, but you need a little extra travel money. And me, I thought you turned your ankle. You played along with this man, and all you got was cheated. Now how about playing on the side of the law? You got a better break. How? By telling us where the rest of the money is. That makes you a state's witness, and you might not be in prison quite so long. We tossed the sack in the buckboard. What buckboard? Rodell's. He's got the rest of the money over at Diablo Pond. You mean Rodell was in on this? Him and Lucy. You were going to have supper tonight with those nice people. Bring your prisoners. Where are you going? Diablo Pond. I left my kid brother with those nice people. Oh, uh, see that your young friend gets anything he wants. Why, of course, Duke. There you are, Tag. I baked it myself this morning. And there's another cake in the oven. The chimney! Look at it, ma'am. When you get a stove that hot, miss, the tin chimney might fold up, and you've got a fire on your hand. The 
Toto burn your cabin, then the brush, and spread to town. Not even Boiler Old Dool and his new smoke wagon can put out a fire like that. Because we haven't got any hydrants out here for him to hook up his new steam pump. I think I understand, Tag. Here, like a tag out. Thanks, Miss Rodell. Time to go home now, Tag. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Hey, Duke, watch out for the blob. Power talk. Inside, Lucy. Load that rifle. Duke, you're crazy! What can you find in the gunfight? Time. Time till what? Till the sun goes down. We don't stand a chance till after dark. Dark is a long time off. We might get shot. We won't get shot. We've got four aces and a joker. You know the joker. You better stop shooting, Lofty. We can't hit a woman no matter what she's done. Well, was aiming for Odell. Why don't you smoke them out, Annie? How? Look at that chimney. They've got the stove too hot. Bet if you shot off that tin chimney, you could set that whole shack on fire. And then the brush gets on fire and the fire spreads to the town. Oh, yeah. I guess I kind of forgot. Tag, ride to town and get Baller or Duel and tell him to come out here right away. Well, we haven't got any hydrants out here. I'm not going to start a fire, you little monkey. Now go on, ride to Diablo and get Odell and tell him to bring a hose cart with him. All right. Lofty, just enough to keep them in place. Come on, Lofty. Looks like Riddell's got our number. He knows we don't want to hit his sister. Lucy ain't his sister. She's his wife. His wife? Told you, Annie. And their name ain't Rodell, it's Hatfield. They had to change their names after they killed that fella in Dallas. Kill what fella? Fella named Morton, shot him across the faro table. Got the Texas Rangers after him right now. After this, Annie, you might listen to me. Just a minute. Just a minute, Mr. O'Doul. This is my one chance of a lifetime. How about letting the mayor ride on your fire engine? Bring me your great honor, me lad. Thank you. Just come on. How would you like to wear me hat? The honor is all mine. Would you take mine? The honor is mine, sir. Let's go, Mr. O'Doul. Okay, Mr. O'Doul. Rangers. They've got the fire engine.
take you down just to the jail. Business while you get me some dry clothes. My clothes can wait. Well, we have a date tonight. A date? Mm -hmm. Dinner at Joe's Diner by candlelight. Hey, that can't wait. I'm drying up. Let him have it. 